are you now that I need you? Yes, you know? a little uh, world in my banana. I, I hate you. I almost introed with um, I'm a bee, but it didn't feel correct since she wasn't here this year. That is true. Anyway, welcome to the Cup the Currently Unnamed podcast where we put the tea in reality usually, but you can always come to us first to quench your thirst. I'm Logan Murphy, say something gay, gay, and I didn't prepare anything else other than water because hydration is important. Ah. Oh. Uh, and I am Anissa Long, also known as Sam DMV, also known as Sam DeMontroverde, your fellow friendly 5'3", trans non matter your Filipino-Canadian mentally unstable hot mess hailing all the way from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, Scarborough, if you want to be specific. And today, I do not have a cup, but I just do have a Tupperware container with a butter tart and my birthday cake from last week. <laughs> Good. Great. I love it. I love it. Well... Well, what was our first ever Eurovision selection that we covered? It's finally back. It's finally back. We're talking about ESCZ today um, for the Czech Republic, doing things very differently this year. Very than, different. Um, than we are used to, but that's very exciting. Um, so yeah, we are going to talk about five songs today. There's only five in this year's selection. Um, so they revealed the songs uh, yesterday at the time that we're filming this. Um, all five songs were revealed in their pre-show, I guess you could call it. Um, with interviews done by another uh, group of Eurovision podcasters, which was really cool. Uh, Euro trip, so shout out to them. Um, but yeah, so those songs were announced then, and the winner will be announced on the 7th, full so week. Next, yep. Um, and the voting is a little bit cute and different, uh, because for the first time in this Eurovision cycle, Anissa and I can vote. Thank you, Czech Republic. Thank you, Czech Republic. Um, their distribution is actually a little different from last year, I believe. I believe last year it was 50-50, um, Czech and international. This year it's 70% international voting and 30% domestic voting. So they are really they are really taking to heart the new format of Eurovision. And sure. I, I kind of like it. And how much of that boat is also like juries as well? None. It is all online voting. That's crazy. There's no jury. I think there was a jury last year, if I remember right. There was a jury last year. Oh, yeah, because like I think like Katarina from Go Away was there. I think Dottie Frere was there. Um, it was like all of my favorites. I was like, oh, hi. <laughs> it was um, a very stacked jury. Yes. But yeah, there is no jury this year. It is all uh, public voting, which I think is really cool. So, really cool too. Um, without further ado, I guess we can just dive in. Let's get into it. Cool. We're going to go in running order from how they were presented. So the first song up is going to be Maya with the song Flood. I like it. It's good. It's good good yeah i i enjoy it it's a little repetitive it is um but these are the kinds of songs that i enjoy i do love mm. a strong female ballad and that's and what we're serving here today yeah and she has a very cool vibe yes. um i'm trying to come there's someone that comes to mind and it's not coming to me it's right there on the tip of my tongue mm. but like yeah because i've heard someone with the with a similar vibe to her but anyways I think what really sells me is kind of is the the glitchy core like the the glitchy voice moments in the chorus because I love those. Mm -hmm. Um the 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 high falsetto towards the end also was nice. Um although other than that, I didn't feel like the song went a lot of places. It doesn't. <laughs> it really doesn't. Um, the live performance is pretty good. Her the live performance was good. Um, yeah, I do like the song. Um, it, 
I agree. It's missing a bit of dynamic that I wish it had, but I think overall it's a pretty solid song. It is pretty solid. Honestly, this would be my perfectly solid. Yeah. Yeah. So let's talk next about Pam Rabbit. The song is Ghosting. Now, two years in a row, I didn't think we'd be getting spooky disco. Spooky. Spooky oh. disco. Because Monica Liu last year oh. described her song as spooky disco. And now we have Pam Rabbit doing the same. And I'm super excited for it. It's a good song. It's a really good song. It's strong. This is a strong entry. The music video is so good. I've I don't not know if you the music video. video. It's really good. Um, but yeah, no, I'm into her voice. Um, I again, I wrote like a sentimental kind of spook. Sure. I wasn't expecting that rap verse either. I was kind of living. I was the, kinda... the rap verse is actually my favorite part of it. Um, I really enjoy that. Um, yeah, I think it's it's an incredibly like again. I, I'm gonna say there's no bad song in this selection at all. No, um, I love the rap break. I think her tone is really cool. The live performance was good. I wish she had a bit more energy. Yeah, That's really like the only thing Literally. that I, um, she felt I could tell she was a little nervous, and that's to be understandable, understandable because it's a big thing. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, I think overall, it's it's really good. Yeah, I like this is the one song that I put for the selection that I thought was like cool. I I thought the song was cool. Yeah, I agree with that. We're gonna talk next about Marketa Irgulova. The song is happy. Now, some people may be familiar with Miss Marketa. She did compete last year in a national selection, but she competed for Iceland. Um, she I'm pulling up the name of her song currently because I do not remember what the name of her song was. Uh, the song was Mogilekt or Possible. Okay. Um, she did not make it out of her semifinal. Um, she came fourth in semifinal two. Um, yeah, I, this is a good song. It's a good song. Sorry. Do you mind if I interject a bit and like Please. totally sidetrack? Because I totally forgot to mention this in the first song. And uh -huh. I think you also forgot to mention it, but Maella is, is also kind of, a familiar voice that we've heard as well. Uh -huh. She mentions in her ESCs in during ESCZ that live stream, um, that she is the voice that says, "I'm only a friend." Yeah, yeah. I I find that crazy. Friend of a friend of a friend. friend, of a friend. Yeah, like, I did forget to. Anyways, sorry. No, you're good. Um, my favorite part about this song is actually the music. The music it, caught me immediately. The music's very well done. It's this very indie sort of vibe. I really, really like it. And I'm pretty sure you already know what I'm going to say about it. It's just too repetitive. Yeah. And I, I guess the, the energy on stage as well felt very kind of slow. Muted. Muted. I, th I think that's a good word for it. Muted. I would say muted. Yeah. It's unfortunate because I think it's, I think she's a good singer and I think it it's is. a really good song, but yeah, just a little, a little too muted for me. Yeah. I feel like if this were to represent, it would fade into the background for sure. I agree. Unfortunately. Yep. But good overall. I prefer this much better to her entry from last year. So do I. So let's talk about the song that damn near everybody's been talking about, Vesna, My Sister's Crown. And rightly so, because it's a great song. This is a great song. I love that it's in four languages. So we have English, we have Ukrainian, we have Correct. Bulgarian. Yes. And we have Czech. Czech. Now, I I was interested because I had heard some things before hearing the whole song, and I 
was concerned that this song would maybe be pandering a little bit too much, but I'm very happy to say I don't I don't think that's the case at all. And I think it's actually a very beautiful and lovely tribute. Yeah. Um, to what is still happening in the world. Yep. Um yeah, the music did you watch the music video? I've so when I listen through these songs, I only base it off like their live performances on sure. the stream. Sure. The music video is incredibly well done. I I've I have seen clips of this video. Yeah. It's it's really powerful. Um it's got such a great sentiment. I think this is a, mm -hmm. a really great song. I'm gonna say this for the first time this year, or not the first time this year, the first time in a in a while. This could this, win. This could win. This could this win. could win the whole thing. Yeah. I really, I really think the staging uh for ESCZ, I think, is only like the tip of the iceberg for where they could go with this. Yeah. Um, I would actually love to see staging similar to what they have in the music video. I know that'd be really difficult to pull off because it's like 20 people in the music video, but um or i would like to see this with similar staging as like say like when god shut the door from sure the yeah actually yeah or even something along the lines of what stefania did right right like having the group there everything together uh -huh. i think that could be really interesting for but, sure i mean no it's a great song this is a great song uh the live performance like really ha from the very first syllable they start singing you're already hooked in oh yeah most definitely and we got one more it's a real quick run through <laughs> it's a real quick run through the last one is rodan with the song introvert party club and our only male entry i guess the only male entry in this year's escz I am such a big fan of this song. I'm a huge fan of this song. I love this song. It's like, his voice is so lovely. The live performance did really well. The music video, I loved it because he um, went around, I'm gonna assume it was Prague. I don't know what city it was specifically, but he went around this city with um, pieces of cardboard with his lyrics on it. And it was like a whole thing of like introvert party club. Like it's it's a really cute vibe. Go watch the music video if you haven't. It's a, it, it's really cute. Also, wrote on um, wrote on if you are out there would not. He's like he's cute as hell. He is very cute. Um, yeah, no, I just I love he his 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 voice kind of gives me a bit of like passenger. Sure. Yeah, yeah. or like a passenger or like a James Bay almost kind of moment. And I really love that. <clears throat> what really that. gets me is the, is the writing. I love these the lyrics. I completely just agree. right off the bat, introvert party club. I'm like, yes, I'm 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 there. Mm -hmm. Um, I like I like when he goes into the falsetto in the bridge. Mm -hmm. Um, I just wish he could have belted out a bit, belted out more because it it felt. After yeah. he took the falsetto, he went back all the way down to where he would he like usually sang throughout that song. Yeah. But other than that, I really like this song. I really like right. this. It's great. Well, very quickly today, we have come to the point in our program where we must give out points. Not even 15 minutes in. That's crazy. Nope. I mean, there's five songs. We could talk about it for an hour, but we'd be rambling on and saying the same things over and over. So, yeah. So, all right, six points. Because that's the minimum number of points we're getting out today. Yeah. Um, I want to say I like all these songs. There's not a bad song in the selection. However, for me, my six points are going to go to Flood. Unfortunately, yeah. And I'm going to say the same thing because I really like all of these songs. Um, so with that being said, my six points, unfortunately, are going to be going to Happy. Yeah. So my seven points go to Happy? My seven points go to Flood. I figured as much. Eight points I'm going to give to Ghosting. I figured you would. 
Um, and my eight points are going to be going to Introvert Party Club. Yeah. So my 10 points go to Introvert Party Club. And my 10 points go to Ghosting. Wow, to nobody's surprise, 12 points to Vesna. Pop off at the... I mean, yeah, it's I. It's a good song. Um, and the best part, we get to vote. We get to vote. Um, I mean, it, not that they necessarily need it, because I think they will be winning. I don't think there's any any way Vesna does not win. Um, yeah, just like, based on the social media reaction. And especially on our trusty um, Eurovision World Poll. Oh, God, I um, haven't looked. <laughs> okay, so... Oh, no. It's not... Oh, even, wow! <laughs> it's... I think this is the biggest, like, landslide I've seen. Oh, it's not even close. <laughs> so we have Vesna with 65% of the vote, followed by Ghosting with 17% of the vote. Yeah, I mean, I don't think there's any any way that I don't, it doesn't win. I'm yeah. excited for it. But I will um, say, when God Shut the Door had that same kind of reaction, however, they didn't, Jerry didn't yeah. win. Not that I'm manifesting it for this, because I really hope this ha- it happens for them, uh, yeah. that they, they win, that, that, for, that is. Uh, yeah. Where did they get? Hold on. Did they get pulled? Yeah, so they, um, so Czech Republic is pulled into the second half of semifinal one. Oh, okay. So I could definitely see if Vesna does win, I could see it closing. I could see it closing as well. But, well, that's that on that. Real quick video today, thank God. Um, <laughs> Make sure to subscribe, like, share, hit the bell. Go check out all of our other Eurovision content. Um, Because end cards, I'm getting good at them. Um, And with that being said, bye. Bye. Bye Bye-bye now. baby, come a little closer. Let me, let me, baby, lean up on my shoulder. Let me. It's all on my body, love me like 